1v3 or 1v1. And th reason number two, uh, it's actually going to be a support pugna, so that makes it a lot easier in terms of what, what their lanes are going to be. I just think support pugna is not as good as core. Anyway. And then... Um. Yep, he's got to be really careful. He does have level 2 now, though, so not only does he have the nuke, he was waiting because he... I'm sure he really wanted to net right there, but he wouldn't have the damage, but now he has the net and the damage, so if, if No-Tail comes in, out of invis, he might die here. He does have his gentleman ready to go, and they don't have a sentry just yet. They can pop it down now, will they? The Illuminate will get the kill, that's first blood. Bone 7, Sal comes out, doesn't matter, gets the kill. The net came a bit too late. He'll stick up, he's gonna solar himself as well. And now Bone 7 man boating, going a goddamn. The last right click is not there, and he'll go down. Our men on a Keeper of the Light at two minutes, gets a double kill. Wow. The damage output from Bone 7 with those stacks was insane onto that gyro. So quickly. So he won't be as effective in terms of at least team fighting his early engagements. Decay comes out, they have the Granada Strike as well. He's just, he dies so quickly, the Illuminate comes through. They're gonna get this kill on a no-tail, but they are happy with that trade if Bone 7 gets out. It looks like he will. They've uh, really just destroyed Gyrocopter so far. He's gotten a couple of kills. Oh no, it's no, quite no, slow. No. It's running right over the ward too. Does he have it? Can he get this? Quite he slow. This. Oh, the Janata, that's it. That's the courier with the bottle. That's the luscious bottle, by the way. Bots are now caught out of position. Lighty Storm Splitter. There's the brain step and stare. He's pretty tanky, but not tanky enough. He's gonna have the Illuminate to try and finish him off. So it is going to be the courier coming out for Fata. Interesting trade. DK. Uh oh. Armin, what are you doing here, buddy? The head's bottom. He's just like, I, I don't know what I'm doing here exactly. Oh, Decrep plus the Nether Blast comes in. He'll try to deny himself to roast the last right click. He will get the kill. Mystery had just enough base damage to bring down that squishy, squishy arm and keep for the light. So, That's free kill for Pragna. Yeah, that's right. It is. That's a streak goal, too. That's not something you see on a Keeper of the Light at five minutes, usually. I mean, he had that at four minutes. Anyway, top lane, Bone 7 taking some damage. He's still got nine charges. Yep, he uses his stick. Uh oh. He uses oh. the tombstone level three as well. Nah, goddamn, he's probably dead here. And uh, if they dive the shower, they might be able to get the kill as well. They come in. There's going to be the script pain. Envy comes through the Shadow Strike. They have no Sonic Wave. He doesn't have the mana for it. Lightning Storm coming in after Ninja, and this is the Split Earth. He's got another second before he can hit that Lightning Storm up again. He won't be able to get the kill on Bone 7, it looks like, and at level 5. He's actually outplaying the offlane uh, Dread Bane. He doesn't even have his Soul Ring yet. Meanwhile, they're going to find out No-Tail. They had a Sentry. They're going to its there. They've got Detection. The Illuminate going to fly out with Split Earth. Easy kill coming in. So they finally get that pesky, pesky Bounty Hunter. It's Cuddle has so many kills, but honestly, he's bought so many of the wards. Two tower top lanes gonna go down. Envy and Fots rotate up and they get this tower, no problem. They have a glyph, but they're, they will use it. They're gonna TP in. They might not get this. They might actually get the tunnel, but they will. Fots, uh, Splurk misses from F and Ninja just on the edge. Bottom lane, they're going to find just if he gets the call down off. He actually gets the stick charge. It does a lot of work, but it's not nearly enough to get any of these kills. Envy will take the full brunt of the call down in Rock Barrage, but he doesn't give a damn. The trade, not really a trade, actually. They, it might have been Cloud I see Pycat do that a lot, where he just rushes the, the sheep stick. Yeah, yeah, I, that's I think it was at a ESL where I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Goddamn's gonna find no tail. They have a central ward down. Thought it's gonna come in as well. Shrook and toss bounce into two, but they actually can't kill him. And then on the backside, Bone 7 comes in with a tombstone, throws out a decay. It's an easy two for nothing. It might even be three. Affinity yeah, getting go. Lightning Storm's gonna come out. Bone 7 is tanky, but not tanky enough to withstand the damage of the track. However, here comes Fonsa. He's pretty tanky. They even have Brief Fire. Now pushing forward the blinding light. There's gonna be the Sonic Wave. Affinity not dead yet. He's already used his stick charges. He will survive. Meanwhile, on the backside, for some reason, Dread going in feeds grip, but there's the Shuriken toss. Cancels it immediately. Dread caught way out of position. He'll go down pretty much nothing. And just Cloud9 grouping up and I guess you could say death falling at this point. Yep, and the early BKB is not even up for Fata. He has not 700 gold. It's looking extremely grim here for Dyer's HR. Um, they do have potential high ground defense with like sleep illuminate combo or sleep illuminate. Oh, but since then, they just haven't gotten enough out of these sentry wards. BKB's now done for Fata. They're going to sit bottom. Envy in the tree line trying to go for a CC play to help with another hero more than likely. He'll jump in Sonic Wave if he gets the chance to. They'll blow up the illusions with another blast easily. They actually have the, the nether ward on the deck. And actually, goddamn, we'll take it down. Is re in trouble? They get the splitter off on the two. Bone Seven doesn't get it off just yet. He's get the call down right over the tombstone. In. They have a mech ready to already use it. Fata BKB. The Fiends group does nothing. And goddamn, tracked up, getting right click down. They'll bring him down as well. Just a noob. He'll go down as well with the last right click coming in from Fata. They've got breathe fire in two. There's the knee crap up for the dread. The nightmare up Fata. Look at the damage coming out. Look at the shuriken toss as well as that mana or rather a life drain. 
And they take all five Hellraisers. This is probably it. They can maybe even go high ground here. They have no 5x whatsoever, except for the gyrocopter. If he buys back, he has nothing. You need to do, um, and that's that's what you always want to do in a Dota game, right? It's just, just like, draft something and then execute that plan according to what the heroes you have drafted. And they've done exactly that. Last game, oh, hold up, on, big guy. Taking some damage. Call down comes down. It's gonna hit two or twice, but he still gets the kill onto the gyro. No tail. I think he is going to die. He will. Good Fiend's Grip, they will get a turn here, two for one, but the problem is is that the Gyrocopter is dead before any of that is transpired, so... Red still doesn't have much to work with here. And if he jumps in blind, they throw an Observer Ward and a Sentry Ward down as well. They're gonna Shadow Blade up, they song! They want to kill this Tombstone and they will get it! There are another ward down, it doesn't look like it. Oh, now it's gonna go to Song Sinan, they miss for the split of time, he actually fought to get his BKB off. Just so people do the same, goddamn already dead. Illuminate coming in, that's going for the Ages coming out from Envy. Bone 7 almost to the Crimson Guard, keeping him alive. They're gonna try to take down Fossa, they've got the sleep, Envy back up and ready to go. They'll take down one, they're gonna take down FNJ as well. They don't have 5x on the Gyro or the Lesh. Fossa going to work, deep, but comes out. Actually, your image is off, that was pretty sweet. Now there's gonna be use to that life turret, and they're getting overrun, they've got to call it. Jeez. G comes down from the Hellraisers. Cloud9, we're just too far ahead at 22 minutes into the game. Very short games coming out, but still, series is tied 1 1. Trout, we're heading to game three. Yep, the game of the old college try at the end there. I think it was a, a nice try from HR, but it was just. I mean, what can you do when a team has nearly 20,000 gold lead at 20 minutes? It's absolutely insane. Very, very little you can accomplish, but they tried. They just. They didn't have any answers to this death ball kind of push. But he decided against it. He didn't have detection, so I don't know how much he would have been able to do. They gave him oh. three centuries on the courier. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Oh, no Tim might get this courier. It is a uh, flying courier. Uh oh. They don't have speed boost. On the other side of things, they're just going to go ahead and take the top ring spot. All right, I'm, I'm like watching this courier with bated breath. Did no, does Notel know know that it's there? I think he must. He, I think he saw it during daytime. Yeah. He has this ward up here, so he, I think he, I'm pretty sure he saw it. Oh oh uh oh 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 no! It's no, quite no, slow. No. It's running right over the ward too. Does he have it? Can he get this? Quite he slow. Might not get this. Oh, the Janata. That's it. That's the courier with the bottle.